Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I'm going to show you how to do new start, even though I've done it before, but I can see people having hard time. So we're going to start. First of all, of course, I would love to thank to all of you, who are, whoever is my patrons in my patreon.com, that they are supporting me. And I have some people that I talk to them and I work with them on a Zoom and I wanted to help them. They are a little having a little bit hard time and I know some of you are doing very, very good job. So what's the thing is the first I want to show you. This is the beginning of the needle lace. This one. You just put the thread on your needle. The, because be, maybe beginning you're having a hard time. So what you do, you hold the thread with three fingers in your hands. And on your thumb, just put like this, go around and go one more time around like this. But don't go a second time. Just go one and go again and hold it with your little pinky if you are having a hard time. If not, all you have to do is hold with your three finger. Put this instant to hold this, open your finger, this one, and go around, and you have to make it X. So when you do that, you have to put your finger right here to hold them together. So otherwise it will fall. It's going to open. So one more time I want to show you. Put the thread in your three fingers, and the fourth one, you hold, you hold it, and you go around and put your finger, hold it like this. So, now, while it's round like this, you put your needle both together from the beginning that we started round and we went over. You put your hands here, you put the needle under both thread. And then you take the both in the back. If you take this one, for example, the one that we put it, it's not going to do any good. So you have to hold both together. And if you hold on top and this stays under, it's not going to do anything. So you have to put them together. Let me show you one more time. You hold all four finger, the third one, the index finger, and a thumb. You turn the thread towards to you, you make it like an X, you put your finger on, you hold it tight, and then you put the needle both together. And the back part goes under the needle, like you see this, the thread, the back that we put on thread, it just goes away from you, under, and goes over. And then you pull it, and that's how it will become nuts. So, now, I was working with one of the customer, Patreon, which I thank her, Tracy, which I was trying to help her. Sometimes when you put like this, not the top part, if you just go once, sometimes you don't see it or you don't pay attention, and when you turn it, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to work. It's just going to be round. So it's not going to hold it. See, it's easy to pull left uh, out and in and out and in. It's not going to work. So what we have to do, we take it out back. And any time your finger gets looser, like it gets bigger like this, you cannot pull with this to tighten it up. You have to pull this one and tighten it up your finger. Do you see it? So now we have to put the thread, uh, the needle to my thumb and this one always should be on top. It cannot go under. It has to be on top. Again, the back part, you hold it and you go away from you and then bring it towards to you. Let me show you again. It's towards to you, you take it and push it away, go under the needle, and then on top of the needle, towards to you. And then you pull it. Now, this is the pedal now. If, for example, if it gets big, 
like this, which we do not want this, what do you do? You just put your needle at the end, loop here, and you pull it to make it shorter, as short as you want, however much you want. But definitely it has to be small. So before you tighten it up, just pull it and see if you will like the height of your pedal. Pedal, it's not supposed to be too big. And then you hold tight and you pull it. So it will be a knot and this is how it's gonna be the pedal. Now, if it start to, uh, the thread slowly, slowly, it might go back, bring it forward. It will make it easier on uh, middle or a little bit away from your tip of your thumb uh, index and pull the thread always here to make it tight. When it's tight, it's easier. So now I'm gonna make it again, another one. And now in case, if it became too small, for example, and you thought it's even, what do you do? Again, you take it out, push it this forward, pull this up, and more or less eye measurement, you will see how much it is. Now, don't let it go too far and not too, too tight. Don't make it because it's the beginning because you're learning. Once your hands get used to it, then you can do it even already. Now you pull it like this, but make sure you put your finger, hold tight and pull it. So now you have two of them. There you go. And this one again, while it goes back, make sure you bring it a little bit forward by moving it like this. If you pull back forward, it doesn't come so easy. So by moving it, bring forward and then pull this thread to be closer to each other. All right, so now we have two seeds. Again, I'm going to put my needle under my one that it's over my finger. This the front thread that we're working. It stays on top of the needle. And the back part, we'll take it and we go from under to front of you. I'm sure a lot of you, you know, but a lot of them having a hard time, so I wanted to show you again. See, now I tighten it up because more or less I know how big I need it. Once you start to do that, your eye measurement will be perfect. Now I wanna do it again and go over. And now I can tighten it up because I know how much, how far I want them to be even pedals. I pull it tight and then I pull it up. Now we have four. Again, I'm going to go in. I, I push it towards to my skin and I go out. Keep this always on top. The back part, you'll take it and you go towards to you. And this is the way you do it. So now we have two, four, five. Again, we're going to go under. And then we're gonna go the back part we take again and we do it like this way. Like I said, if the thread, if this part, the thread, if it stays under the needle, it's not gonna work. Again, I wanna show you what it will do when you work. It's not gonna make it tight. You can move it out, you can pull it down you can pull it out, it's not gonna work. So you take it out again. That's what the mistakes a lot of people they are doing. That's why they say I cannot do it. So you have to put under, this part always stays out with this thread. So both of them has to be on top of the needle. And then the back part goes again Sometimes, you know, when it gets too big or it's like tangling, your finger can help. Always make sure this finger is holding it tight. It's helping you when you're pulling. You don't want to just pull it, you know, and then it will, might open it or tear it or whatever. So, two, four, six, seven. Now we're going to do eight again under. The back part will take it. 
I have to tell you, if this five steps, you try it, which I'm gonna go again over, so you will know what to do. Here we go. Sometimes like, you know, I said, if it b turns around or it gets too big, your finger can help or with your needle. So you tighten it up. Beginning always try to do it with your hands like this until you get used to it. Otherwise, it will be very easy by just pulling. You pull with the thread and push it, pull it, and then here it goes. But for the beginning, try to make it slower. Don't rush, don't stress over. Just take your time. See, for example, if this is pretty good, but if you are not sure, pull it first and then hold it tight with your finger and then pull it. So it will tighten it up and then you can pull the pedal up to see how even they are. If it's a little higher than a little lower, like I can see here, this, is, this looks a little bit more higher than this. It's not noticeable, it's okay, it doesn't hurt. So now let's see how many, we're gonna do 12 pedals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We need another one. But it doesn't matter if you do 12 or 13 extra, it can be extra. But if you do less, later on when you're working, you might need add more extra thread, uh, extra seeds. So now this is it. You hold, you put your hands or your nail, let's say, wherever we started here, the beginning. You put your finger here. Now we're done. It looks like a little ring now. We hold here and we pull it slowly. You can pull, don't be afraid. It's gonna make a little like a star, like a flower. And then, here it is, and then, because we're going to start to work around. Before that, what you have to do, you just tie it up just like a shoelace. You just tie it. You can do once or you can do twice. If you feel comfortable like this, it's fine. If no, you do it again. Then, uh, you, if you do it two times, then you don't have to bring it up to secure here. As long as you tied it up twice, it's fine. But I recommend you too that if you want, now this is now extra thread over here. We don't want this to be under our hands. We just want to cut it, get rid of it. So this way, in case if you want to secure what we do, when we start here beginning, I will put this thread on top. So is this. Just like when it was on our finger, we put everything up. So only thing you have to make sure that the pedals beginning, it can go left, like twist, like this, or you know, it doesn't stay straight. Like you see here one, it's straight. Sometimes it can go like this, this way. And you don't want to see like this. You wanna see all pedal straight standing. The flowers, we don't want them to turn like the way some flowers are. So you make sure that they are straight, so we can see all the pedals towards to us. So now I will put the needle in my pedal. Both thread are on top. This is the one that we were going secure. And then we will cut. Hold in your hands and your th thumb, just like this. And both thread on top of the needle. Hold the back part and work. Now you see there is a pedal. Now this one we don't need anymore, this part. What we have to do, we will cut. You can cut as short as you want. As long, make sure you do not cut your pedal. After you finish it, then you can cut even shorter later on. So now we have to go on each pedal. We put the needle, this stays on top, and the back part, both together always make sure you're holding because sometimes when it's separated from each other you think that you know this will be the right one and it's not gonna work so hold them together automatically when your needle is in your hand with thumb and index finger this middle finger hold it like this just like we do sewing so this way you know that they are together and you hold them back together and 
you do your seeds. Now, I'm gonna go here. I wanna make sure it's even. I'm gonna put on top. Automatically will go under the needle, but because you're learning new, you just make sure that it's always on top of the needle. And then the back part goes under towards to you. I think this will be very good because too many customers, uh, people, which I'm happy that they are trying to learn, but they are kind of confused and they are asking me. So I wanted to show special the beginning. So this way, everybody will be able to do it. And here again, I go, I put this on top. The back part goes over. Now, when you are doing this first row, you have to make sure that it goes even. We do not want to make it big uh, seeds, which is, this is when I say seed, every step I do, loop I should call, I don't know. You cannot make big like this. It has to be even. Like I always say, if it's a little smaller or bigger, it's not bad, it's okay, but you cannot make too big or too tight close to the pedal. Like, this is the biggest, big it is, and this is too small will be. You don't want this. You want to be even with rest. When you do it even, then it will look very nice. See how it is? They all even. So now again, I go into the pedal. The top is on top, the front one, the back one goes over, and this is the way we will do. I think now you should not have a hard time. You can practice. And I wanted to say, maybe I'm gonna try for you on a handkerchief once. So this way, maybe you can practice a little bit this top part that I'm teaching you now, this minute, which I'm doing on a handkerchief. So when you practice a lot, I have to tell you that you're gonna do very good. You should go on, my, when you go on my videos, click on playlist, whoever is advanced, uh, which doing much better and they learning quicker. There is, I'm not sure about at least is it 30. When you push the playlist, you see on the sides, all the motif, all the different designs, anything you want, you can learn from there. Here it is. Now this is the little loop that we did. So this is the way it is. Now I want to show you here a little bit on the handkerchief, which I was teaching today one of my patron on, pat uh, on the Zoom that she wanted to get a little help or she wanted to work with me, which it was nice. I had wonderful time with her. She was a funny woman <laughs> and uh, she was patient too with me. And that's how you really learn. You have to have a patient. Now, this one I was kind of showing her with big seats so she will know what we are talking about. So when you put, when you have a handkerchief, start to work with your handkerchief, put the thread in the back, just like pretend it's around my, this is around my finger, okay? Pretend this is the thread and I roll it on my hands. So you put in a handkerchief and this will be on top of your needle and both together grab it and twist it and here it is now you do it again you don't have to go too down you can just go on the tip but it depends if you want to do on handkerchief on your clothes on your color of your dress so you, what you do you put it in this will be on top pretend that this is rolled on my hands and this is the work that I'm doing hold together and go under and towards to you and this is the way the seeds will be so when you jump it you have to do it all the same furtherness of course so you want that to see even loop even uh, lace even seeds see just like this so when you go again let me show you pretend this is rolled over my hands the thread is on top the back part you hold, go under and do it 
like this. There we go. And I think you will be able to do very, very, very easy, very clear. So this is the way you'll do it. And well, I want to thank you very, very much. And I hope it will make it easier for you. You practice. If you have any hard time, you can write or you can be uh, while you're supporting. I can do face to face on a computer and I can show you any design, anything you like. Well, I thank you a lot, a lot. And if you like it, subscribe my channel if you didn't. And if you never done this, there is so many on playlists. You can go from the beginning to the end. There is so many designs you can learn. Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I want to thank to all my patrons on patriot.com for their support to make my channel possible. Thank you.